All right, let's have a go. Just try not to bin it. Almost lost the back end at the chicane then. Yeah. Did you just qualify 19th? I was 12th. Were you? <laughs> Fuck me, I just qualified 18th. <laughs> Jesus. I tell you, they, all, they always make qualifying stupidly hard. Yeah. I was driving around and I just thought, this car feels slow. <laughs> Fuck I don't me. know whether it's just, just me being used to the Williams, which is constantly, you're fighting it all the time, but... What's the difference between the six tell, temps? That felt nicer than the Sauber. Yeah. Because I actually had some turning. The down, the, the, there's no downforce at all in the Sauber. It literally just understeers through the corners. But bloody hell, I thought that was quite a good lap as well. <laughs> like, <laughs> seven tenths off of you and 2.6 off of Raikkonen. Like me. 1.9. I, I can't believe we're two seconds off the pace. We're a second slower than the Renault. <laughs> 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 but I guess it is Australia Australia they always make it really hard for some reason like I reckon when we get into Bahrain and places like that we're actually going to be alright we're we'll probably qualified quite high yeah because I I, I, so. I done I done the Mercedes round um, Austria uh, last week and I qualified um, sick on the grid round there hmm so I think it's just Australia. There's like there's like very few Grand Prix that's just really hard, and I think this is one of them. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna say if we can both get in the points here, we'll be uh, we'll be doing all right. <laughs> but we do have free choice of tyre now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'll probably start soft to compound and then go on to the ultra. That's what I'm thinking as well. Hmm. I just hope I don't get absolutely ho-bagged into turn two and get punted off. Because that's what the AI have done to me in the past. No, have they? Mm. I, find, I found them quite aggressive at times when they're trying, when they're defending, like trying to cut you off. Yeah. I just hate the fact you can't attack the curbs. Because it re I tell you what, that, if we could att attack the curbs, I think we'd be a lot quicker. Yeah. I, I can't attack the curb. I, I went on that, that qualifying lap. Um, when we went into, I think it's turn four to five, that little right-hander, I just clipped the curb and I didn't know if any spin out. Um, what what lap are you coming in? I'm planning on coming on lap eight. We best get this correct, otherwise we'll get double stacked. Otherwise, uh, I'm planning. Check in. I'm planning lap eight. I just, let's see. I'll make sure I've got the right compound tire first. Yeah, I'd go. I could pit lap nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. If we if we need to switch, we can. Or if if it ends up that we're far enough apart, we can double stack. Then we'll uh, mm. we'll do that. Right, I'm uh, I'm ready for this beating yeah. whenever you are. Yep. <laughs> I can never get manual starts right though as well. So. Have you got the trophy yet for the reaction time?
I was hoping to have got it then, that's why I went quiet. <laughs> oh, Perez, you're fine out there. Well, I've gone off the grid and I'm straight up into 14th. The L? The, uh, the AIs are all falling into turn one. Dive bomb! I've just dive bombed off on. I'm getting bullied by Perez. Got him. Is there a train yeah. in front of us? In fact, me Ocon almost hooked me up into the wall then. Ooh, yeah, I've got... I think it's being held up by a Hulkenberg. I keep forgetting I've got my headset on. Oh, I've done it. I've done Perez. That's a belting dive bomb. <laughs> Shut up, Jeff. Alright, that's Jeff sorted and out of the way. <laughs> I've come to the realisation already that this Renault engine is a poor... There's a Leclerc pulling away from me down the back straight. Ah, I'll try it. Yeah, he left me room. Got him! Well, I've dropped Perez. That's good. I've nearly dropped it on the curb. Bear in mind, we're on the so we're on the harder compound here, and we're gaining time. I think it would be bad if we weren't, though, <laughs> considering where we are in the Red Bull. So much spare fuel as well, I didn't even notice. This. Oh. That was the wall, now done, Jack. Oh god, Perry's is uh, starting to catch me up. Gonna be, oh dear, oh dear, I'm in the wall already. Come on, Charlie, safety car. Safety car is a dangerous position for a car. <laughs> I'm still go, going. Go on the radio, Christian, that's a safety car, mate. <laughs> Oh, well, that's, that's, that's game over already. Just I think it on the curb. Uh, I have to get a new front wing. I think you should swap to the harder compound now. I've gone to that, but I've just sped into the bloody pit lane. Oh, God. <laughs> Great round one for Red Bull. We might get a point out of this, mind. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Massachusetts just sat in his office going, you, you, why did I ever employ you? That's the point, what car number are you? I am, according to this, yep, 53. See, the car, the driver that's in 10th and ahead of me nabbed my bloody number, so I'm after him. Yeah, it doesn't allow... If you if you want a number, I think it won't give. If you want a number, say like number three, it won't give you it because Ricardo's got it. Yeah, well, Charles Leclerc has got my number. Z number 15? sixteen. Sixteen. That's my blacking. That's my number. Ah, uh, I was lucky a few years back when Alexander Rossi drove for Manor for a little bit. And he had the number 53, which is my number. Luckily, they never put him in the game, so I got lucky in that one. Shit, I've actually got, I've got to start saving my ERS here. Status update, I'm 35 seconds behind Sorokin. Is that with a drive-through to-do? To-do, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, my status update is I'm not actually catching Leclerc. I'm like just keeping him in touch. Ready for the pit stops to come around, I think. I swear the difficulty level is different online. For some unknown reason, they've just changed my tyres. What to? Onto super softs. Well, okay. You could probably go to the end on this. What was the predicted laps for this? I could get it to lap nine. I'd have to stretch it by two laps. I've just looked on my MFD and I could see the leader coming out of turn one. I'm going to turn two. <laughs> I don't even know who's leading. Uh, I, I, I could take him out. <laughs> Call cool, the safety guy, yeah. Right, how the fuck am I going to work this team radio? I think it's... I don't know what your option would be because it'll come through the... I don't know if you've got it coming through your... Uh, your controller, or if you've got it coming through the headset like I have, which is why I told Jeff to shut up. I know I've got everything coming through the headset, so. Ah. Uh, I don't want to shut up, I want to know who we're racing. It'd be fucking hilarious to find out. Right, here we go. I'm going to give it a go in a minute, so if you stay quiet and I say it into the microphone, because I promise if we're talking, they'll try and pick it up, won't they? Yeah. Who are we racing? Apparently I'm racing Perez. I, oh, I'm currently racing myself. I think you should have... <laughs> fuck me, I've got Ocon now on my tail. Oh, and he's in fucking, like... Apparently I'm fighting Raikkonen. If I'm right in saying he's leading the Grand Prix. I mean, unless... Unless he's asking me, engineer, come on, let's cause a safety car. I don't really know Race how else I'm Fuck me, that DRS works a fucking treat, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I'll call you bellend. <laughs> What's happened? I've just gone for a, a switch back on Ocon and he's just cut me the fuck up going around the outside of turn two. If you're at turn two, I'm just going through the quick right. Oh, left, right you now. are fucking shitting me now, aren't you? <laughs> I've just got wiped out by fucking Brendan Hartley. Ah, the world's greatest New Zealander. The dumbest New Zealander. Fuck me, Hamilton's just letting him hit me. What the fuck is going on with the AI? They're on their passive aggressive phase. Um, right. Decisions, decisions. I can't go ultra soft to the end on this. That's a ball ache. Um,. Yeah, fuck off, Hulkenberg. Get in the weeds. Yes! <laughs> I should give him... <clears throat> Box. Fuck it, I'm gonna go to the ultras and see it. Oh shit, if I can make him last. I've done... I don't know how many laps I've done now. Three laps on the super softs, and they're already at eighteen percent. Oh, they've put me on. Um, oh, they've put me on yellows. Okay. Yeah, your softs will make it to the end. It's just going well. For you. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I'm down in nineteenth now. Well. We were aiming for a good result of points. Currently, we've occupied last and second. 
So yeah, I think I think we're doing fantastic. I got a feeling if if we do Bahrain on the same difficulty and it's the same similar result, I think we're going to have to turn down the bloody difficulty on this, <laughs> just so we can like actually fight a little bit. I think we'll wait and see how the pit stops play out because a lot of people are on softs. Oh dear, that's a hedge. That's impressive. You have to find a hedge in a circuit. I don't know. Well, it's a lawn. <laughs> this is Red Bull lawn mowing services. <laughs> Sponsored by Helmet Marco and Aston Martin. <laughs> Aston Martin the <laughs> lawn mowers. <laughs> oh, there's a yellow flag. Uh, who's that? That's Sir Rockin. Sir Rockin has retired from this race. And Saints. Uh, Raikkonen's had issues. He's now in the pits. Down in 16th place. Is that you in front of me? Yes. On the map? What happened? <laughs> um, I had no front wing, so I had to come into the pits. Ah, uh, okay. You've and uh, I've, also been, I've also accidentally been running with no ERS deployment, so I've now got a full battery. Yeah, I did one lap on high deployment, and now it's at 50%. The thing is, I actually know where to use the battery around here. Yeah. I put it in, I put it in low, um, once I enter turn three, I go low from there, up until you get to the middle sector. Where you're coming up to now. Yeah. I put it in high around about now for this stretch because I know the AIs are quite quick right down here. And then I leave it all the way down to the final sector and through the final sector I um, run it with no no ERS at all because it's <laughs> so easy to defend. Yeah. Frankly, Hamilton's only in P15. What the hell is... <laughs> Have, have people on softs not hit it then, I'm assuming? He is on ultra softs. Didn't they start the race on ultra softs? Yeah, the top 10 would have started on ultras, wouldn't they? On ultra softs, yeah. I've definitely seen some of the Ferraris go to the pits, so. That makes no sense. So, have you, how have you found the practice programs on the career? Yeah, they're all right, I guess. So some of them help. I think they're, they're not as tough as last year's practice programs. See, I can only ma I only managed to do the. Um, I got gr uh, green on the track acclimatization. I could have got purple if I really wanted to, but I couldn't be asked to deal more engine damage. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I couldn't do the Corley program, and I couldn't do like any of the other saving ones, nor the race strategy. I couldn't found, even. I couldn't even do the race strategy. I found that the qualifying ones are probably the most difficult, especially in a Williams at Monaco. But other ones haven't been too bad. So at the Sauber. Once I get once I get a couple of the the two mate, it's weird because um, the downforce people, the first two upgrades are both majors. Yeah. So once I get those on the car, I think I'll have a bit more confidence to push. But at the moment, I just don't have. I don't have the turn in or the uh, confidence in the car through the corners. Hmm. That's terrifying. Kimmy's just set the fastest lap and he's behind me.
That's interesting. Playing with the ERS, I'm actually finding that I'm, I'm, I'm better off using a low ERS out of the corner and then build it up out of it. Hmm. Nine temps behind. It's like, it's like, um, just, just go away, Kimmy. You, you, you could just sense what his radio message would be. What is, what is this Red Bull doing? <laughs> Get that Austrian rubbish out the way. <laughs> Don't drink Red Bull. Ah, he's already... Uh, yeah, okay, fine. I mean, it yeah, was a bit of a dive bomb back up the inside, but I'll, I'll take 70 back. I say this has been a successful first race so far. <laughs> We've not retired, so. Uh, I don't know, because Kiwi's coming up behind me and I've got a bad feeling about the AI. Yeah, they seem pretty damn aggressive around here, don't they? I mean, we've got, what, three laps to go? Kiwi's trying it around the outside. You're going into the weeds, sir. Thank you. Uh, I did go into the weeds, but got away with that. <laughs> I forced Hulkenberg into the fucking weeds earlier, and that was bloody hilarious. I had no, I had no front wing, so I decided I was going to do a Max Verstappen thing and dive back up the inside of him as he went around the outside of me. And it was at the exact same corner that you and Kimi were fighting at just then. And yeah, I ended up tapping him, and he went off into the gravel. Hilarious. Survive for another for another lap. Yeah, I think we'll see how Bahrain goes, and if it's this, if it's a similar result, we might as well lower the difficulty a bit. Yeah. It's weird though. At the start, they're really they're like super cautious. Hmm. And then as the race goes on, they just get quicker and quicker to a point you can't actually keep up with them. Okay, me trying it again. Oh, what's that around the outside of here? Ah, oh, no way. Yeah, he's backed out of it. Oh, yeah, they're not very brave either. They're, they'll make it look like they're going to go around the outside. They won't bother. Hmm. I think I'm on. I'm on 42% now. Is that tight away? On the left. Yeah. I've just realised we've caught you up by a big margin. I am on soft, though. How is your tyre wear, then? About 17% on the front left. And I must admit, they don't give me the most, the most confidence through the corner. Hmm. Those supers are not bad. So what did you do? Go supers, ultras, supers? No, I went... Well, the original plan was... to go from the red wall tyre super softs to that hyper. I obviously could have binned it, that didn't help. So I ended up going... I think this time, yeah. No, I've just driven up the... Oh, fine then. <laughs> yeah, I went super soft to hyper, but then obviously I crashed it. Went, I went to the soft tire for one lap, then went to do my stop go, and it put me back onto the super softs, which wasn't the plan. 
So I don't really know how that's happened. To be honest, it's, it's better than fucking these things. <laughs> yeah, I, it looks like it. <laughs> And it doesn't help that I'm also trying to conserve my battery, so I've got enough in the tank so I can go for an overtake lap at the end of the race. Whoa, and I'm out. Okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't get out of the fucking gravel. Hi, Jack. What the hell happened <laughs> Oh, my God. Did you just like completely unbreak yourself then? <laughs> I think I think I just I, I was watching you and then oh, you break shit. and I was just I just sort of I don't I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I just sort of braked. Oh, what is that? I, I can't explain that one. I just sort of I, I see you breaking and it was like my brain just took a split second to go, hang on a minute, it's break, and then I just hit the back here, and that was it. <laughs> I think, I think I'm going to be up in the uh, rivalry with the teammates, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm going to gain that respect from Marco. Yeah. I'm just looking here, Kevin Magnuson is third. Hey? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm actually, I'm going to finish the race a lap down. <laughs> Grosjean is fourth, Alonso is fifth. Apparently, oh, I think the results are going through now. Oh, that was... I think we're going to have an interesting debriefing with Christy and Horner in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get absolutely rollicked by Helmet Marco. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, matter shit, opens it, slams the door open, bang, what the hell do you think you were all doing out there? <laughs> I, I, I must yeah, admit, I, 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 did, I did attempt to sabotage Vettel's race. <laughs> as, as he came up to lap me, I just suddenly braked really early into one of the bends, and unfortunately there was enough of a gap for him to get through. It's like, damn. Yeah. Uh, I mean, on the plus side, though, in terms of starting position, you, you gained one place. I did, yeah, yeah. On, on the downside, you were last. <laughs> <laughs> but that was still better than me. What was that? Who else you got? We got Magnus who was third. Alonso fit Hartley was seventh. What? Charles Leclerc was sixth. What was Did that? Let me just see the race director. Hamilton had two pit stops, which would explain why he's down there. And Raikkonen had two pit stops. That was it. Hang on, let's have a look. Uh... <laughs> this is quite funny. So there's a lot of warnings from the race director. <laughs> yeah. So th th this yeah. is how it goes, right? So, it goes. so Esteban Ocon, collision with JPH99, warning. Gasly, collision with Van Dorn, warning. That was on lap one. Lap two, Perez and me, warning. Jack, uh, you got speed. You got a stop go for speeding in yeah, the pit lane. Okay, yeah. uh, lap six, Esteban Ocon with colliding from with me as a warning. Uh, me colliding with Ocon on that the same incident. I got a warning. Brendan Hartley got a warning for colliding with me when he put me in a fucking barrier, the twat. <laughs> he should have, he, that should have been disqualified. Um, Vettel got a warning for colliding with Ericsson twice on one lap. Serg oh, think me, Sergei Sorokin got a warning for colliding with his own teammate. It's alright, teammates crash later on, that's fine. Oh yeah. Um, I got a warning for forcing Hulkenberg into the gravel trap near the end of the lap. That makes sense. Uh, Ericsson on the same lap as Vettel hit him. Vettel hit uh, Ericsson hit Vettel. Uh, Leclerc hit Sorokin. Sainz, Sainz uh, retired with terminal damage. Vettel collided with Raikkonen. How? Let me guess. Sorokin hit the back of Sainz. Well, when Sainz blew up, yeah. Well, Sorokin blew up. Sainz has hit him. 
Mm. Well, Sonny is just retired. That was his yeah. retirement. Uh, Vettel and Raikkonen came together in lap seven. Both then Raikkonen and Hamilton got warnings for colliding with Zeitz. Uh, Sorokin had a mechanical. Uh, I got a warning for exceeding track limits, but that's no, that's no B. Gasly with Stroll, Leclerc with Alonso, Hamilton with Hulkenberg, you with track limits, and then you had terminal damage apparently on that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. Hamilton actually went ultra soft, super soft, ultra soft. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I can't say any more about it, but that was terrible. Let's have a look at the standings then, because we are... <laughs> so we're not last in the constructors. We are not we're last. We are eighth place. Behind. We're only ahead of Williams and Renault. Is that because they both had one DNF? Uh, that's because they both I mean, scored I've, no I know, points. I know, yeah, I know we did too, but we, the idiot that was me, retired on the like second to last lap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I, it was. it's probably because we're Red Bull. <laughs> yeah. Pass F1 are level leading the championship. What? <laughs> both them and Mercedes on twenty-seven. That. Both them and Mercedes are on twenty-seven points. Oh, we've got to pull our finger out here. <laughs> That's funny. Should we... All right, let's go into Bahrain. 